five straight games. Boston Celtics have won four in a row. Houston struggling now. They've lost three straight. So it's Houston, it's Boston, and the head coach of Houston is that man. Former Boston Celtic great Kevin McHale, who's celebrating the championship with Cedric Cornbread Maxwell way back in the day. That's 1984. How about tonight? There they are once again, and Kevin McHale, plenty of energy. Keep in mind, he's a former NBA TV analyst, but perhaps that's not his greatest claim to fame. His number is retired with the Celtics. We go straight to the fourth quarter of this game, and look at the hustle here. Kyle Lowry just probing the baseline, and then finding Luis Scola, who knocks down the open jump shot. Nice play on both ends. Houston up 78-68. On the break, it's Rajon Rondo finding Ray Allen for the layup and the foul. Allen 7-15 from the field. Houston's lead is down 2-3 off the inbounds. Samuel Dallenberg, yeah, that's not a move you see all the time from Sammy. But he gets inside and makes the tough shot. 11 points and 17 big rebounds from Dallenberg. Off the Kyle Lowry miss. Kevin Garnett gets the rebound and passes out. Now, with that rebound, KG passes Shaquille O'Neal for 12th on the all-time rebounding list. And that happened on Shaq's birthday. Happy birthday, big guy. Outside, Ray Allen knocking down a three-pointer. Boston up 84-82 with 35.4 seconds remaining in the game. Luis Scola missing, and Paul Pierce comes up with the ball. This is going to seal it as Rondo out in the open, but he whiffs on the wide-open layup. So Houston has another shot. They go outside, and it's Goran Dragic knocking down the absolutely clutch Baseline jumper with three seconds to go in the game. Boston goes to Ray Allen. Ray Allen misses a wide open jump shot that would have sealed it. It's 84 84. This game goes into overtime. In that overtime, Boston up by a pair. Paul Pierce working and friendly roll. That's effective. Hooping harm there. Boston in control. 91 86 after the free throws. 93 90, a minute and a half to go. And Kyle Lowry, boy, that's a pro move right there. 18 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists on the night. It's a 1-point advantage. Boston, again, back to P. Pierce. He finished with 30 points on the night. Boston wins it at home by 5 in OT, 97-92. to 92.